as as told from my side it will it will be all numerical nothing like okay okay you want to cover the numericals yes not not the theory part okay okay yeah not the theory okay okay so these are the okay let me check is there any numerical in this section yes this one okay then so we will cover only the numericals yes okay so then first then are you listening me yes sir okay okay so first is this this example basically this example is a sinusoidal signal sinusoidal mm -hmm. signal is basically a signal having positive and negative value or just known as my alternating current okay so find the equation of this circle so we have to find the equation the dc offset is the dc offset given to us is uh, this one v d c equals to this one which, which value equals to one volt the peak impedance is equals to vm and this is <coughs> equals to 2v the period also given to 1 over 16 16 basically is the frequency and then it is time period equals to 0 0.5 20 seconds then the frequency and then peaks occur as t equals to t equals to what t equals to 1 upon 16 milliseconds Mm -hmm. Okay, <clears throat> so, so what does this mean then? This means the, this means the, uh, there is the one upon, this point is one upon 16 then. Okay. Yes. So peaks occur as at this point. So peak occur as when t equals to, t equals to one upon 16. One upon 1 upon 16. So now, uh, since t equals to this one, 8 upon uh, 8 upon 16, this will be shift. So we have to find find what we have to find the equation of, of, of this segment. So this is the example that we have to do it. So first to start with, the first thing to know that Let's give me one second. Yes. No, three things will be uh, we have to find the amplitude, phase and phase period, amplitude and frequency of this of the sinusoid. So the <clears throat> so what will be the amplitude? Amplitude will be the first part of my equation is known as my amplitude. So this is always the amplitude. A constant which is which is the first yes. part of my equation is my amplitude. So the amplitude of the equation is what is 12 volt. 12 volt Vm. Yes. What is the phase? Phase is basically the angle. Angle is also the angle, yeah. yes, the given at the end. This is called so the angle is 10 degree. Okay. So now we have to find the uh, period that is time. So as t equals to time, it, we have to find the time interval. So as we know that, know that, uh, that uh, what is the value of my, uh, how to find the value of uh, value of time, time period. So as we know that W that is my uh, angular frequency equals to what? W equals to two pi F, is it? So yes. omega equals to two pi upon T, two pi upon T. So T will be equals to two pi upon W, two pi upon W. So as the value of pi is what? Pi equals to 3.14. Just we need the value of omega. So to find the the only parameter need is, need is the omega. So for omega, the value which is written with time period, this 50 value, this 50 value is the value of omega. So this 50 value omega equals to 50 
so we have to put this value in this equation to find the t so t equals to 2 pi so the value of pi is 3.14 again omega value is 50 so my time period after calculating is is 0 0.1257 second mm -hmm. is it clear yes sir okay then about the last part we have to find the frequency so frequency is the uh, inverse of my uh, time period so the value f equals to 1 upon t so just 1 upon 0 0.1257 so my value is 7.958 hertz so these are the four things we have to calculate for, for this equation for this uh, example is it clear yes okay okay then 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 the second thing is my rms values rms values basically are basically root mean scale values and these basically these are the uh, then uh, 9.16 9.17 and 9.18 these are the three formulas given for my rms values so first rms value is the 9.16 okay so here the limit limit basically approaches one upon t naught and then t naught upon t2 and after this we have to find it so these are basically four formulas three formulas basically and at the end we find that that v rms that v v v root mean square equals to 0 0.0.07071 v mean so this is basically the relation between v rms and v mean so my value will be so my value that is v v rms is vm over v uh, vm over uh, vm divided by under root 2 yes and the value of under root 2 will be 1 upon under root value equals to 0 0.7071 vm v root mean square equals to 0 0.07m 71 vm so vm is my uh, mean mean basically uh, root mean square value v rms and vm is my mean value so uh, here is the now what will be the value of my uh, vm so vm will be again i have to write again here as i find that v rms value equals to equals to 0 0.0.7071 0 0.7 v mean so what how to find vm so vm will be what vm will be equals to multi dividing this equation this this term to to the uh, right left hand side so it will be 1 upon 0 0.7071 into value of v r m s so v mean will be will be equals to dividing 1 upon 0, 0 0.7071 so the answer will be 1 point four one four two v r m s so these are the two relations basically the most important relation in my root mean square value so v root mean square equals to 0 0.071 v mean and v mean equals to 1.142 v root mean square value <coughs> Is it clear then? Yes, sir. Okay. For the next, yes. So similarly, for my uh, this is my system. When 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 uh, there is an instantaneous current. So for instantaneous current, so current will vary with respect to time. So my I T equals to I M. I M uh, as I described that is the mean value of current into cos theta cos of omega t plus 
फेज दैट इज थीटा टी थीटा आई सॉरी सो अगेन फॉर फॉर दिस इक्वेशन बी आर एम एस इक्वल टू आई एम डिवाइडेड बाय अंडर रूट टू सो फॉर दिस आई एम इक्वल टू अंडर टू इन टू दिस सो आई टी दैट इज दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ करंट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम इक्वल टू इक्वल टू आई रूट मीन स्केयर दिस पार्ट I am doing this part. I root mean square of cos of this. So I root mean square. As I find that it is equals to what? It is equals to <coughs> I m divided by under root two. So putting this value, so we find that my I t equals to what? I m. I am divided by under root two into cos cos then omega t plus phi and with respect to I current. So this is the final value after putting the value of what I mean or I root t. Yes, sir. Yes, both of them are the same. Just the, the difference is I M and I R M. Yes, yes, yes. Just 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 manipulating the value I M and I I do mean square value. Okay. Okay. So now example nine point two is uh, we have to find root mean square value of triangular waveform. <clears throat> ट्राइंगुलर वेव फॉर्म विच इज गिवन इन इन लास्ट पार्ट दैट इज दिस वन सो दिस इज दिव फॉर्म गिवन सो वी हैव टू फाइंड वी रूट मीन स्केर सो एज वी नो दैट दी रूट मीन स्केर वैल्यू इज वर्स टू देर आर थ्री फॉर्मूलाज फॉर रूट मीन स्केर एज आई डिस्क्राइब अर्लियर जस्ट गिव मी वन सेकेंड टू रिमेंबर सो जस्ट गिव मी दीज आर दी नाइन पॉइंट वन सिक्स Nine point one seven and nine point one eight. These are the three formulas of V root mean square. So it depends on you whether you apply uh, or whether whether there are uh, what parameters are given to you to derive the equation. So for this equation, for 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 uh, this numerical, uh, I have given the value of one upon V root mean square value equals to under root one upon t. That is my time period. And then integrate the whole function with respect to t, the upper limit, and with respect to zero, my lower limit, into v square t. So v square t dt. So how to do it? So first, it will be I have to I have to uh, remember that this formula or or this equation will be uh, will be elaborated as uh, when I. Uh, This is my t. That my upper limit is t here, and my lower limit is zero. So when I convert my upper limit to t upon two and lower limit to zero, so my equation will be uh, <coughs> v square. So v square is the function of what is minus. 2 vm upon t divided by t plus vm whole square. So again, when I uh, integrate both, so it will be 4t square. So how to find 4t square? So 4t square divided by t square minus 4t. So it will be just multiplying the value that minus 2 vm equals to this one. So just give me one second to drive. Just give me one second. As the formula is like this one minus uh, this one. This uh, integration, uh, this part minus two v m into t whole divided by t plus v m, and there's a square of it. So there is a. Here of it, 
Okay, then. So, yes, so, so for this, I have to take a common. So my common will be VM. So VM and VM. So VM is my common. So I have I am taken my value. Uh, just give me one sec. Yes, that the value will be my V. So VM. Okay, so VM will be my uh, my common value. So this is the first way to to take common. Now the second way is to this is basically uh, there are two terms in my equation. First is my uh, first term is this one. First term is this one, and this is the second term. So this will be my a plus b whole square. So as we know that this is the trigonometric formula. So this will be a square. That is my minus minus will be plus two will be. First, I have to write it. Just in this. <clears throat> it will be two v m p upon t. This is a square. Then a square. Then this is basically minus. So this will be. Uh, minus two v m t square, then b square so plus plus b square b square will be what v m so it will be v m square so this is a square plus b square plus two a b so plus two into the a a value is minus two v m. V M T divided by T, and then whole. <clears throat> this is A, and then the value V M. Okay, so this is the complete formula. Then is it clear? Yes. Okay, so this this is basically the formula of A plus B whole square, which will be equals to. This is the first part. I have to. This is my a square. This is a square, then plus b square, then plus two formula to a and b. So I have to simplify it. So this value will be four v m square t square. Divided by t square. That is by a square plus v m square. Then plus minus will be my minus four v m square v m square. Then, then this will be my t upon t. That is t smaller t divided by t. Okay. Now, now the the thing which is common in all the equations are my this one v m square. So v m square is in first equation, second and third. So taking. V M T square, so it will be V M square into uh, the first value will be my four T square divided by T square, so four T square divided by T square plus one minus Four t divided by capital T. So this will be elaborated here. Okay. So this will be elaborated here, and and my vm vm square will be here, and then simply I have to integrate both part. Then is it clear or not? Yes. Okay. So just then taking the integration. So I have to delete all the calculation values. So this will be math 
4 into then t square integration will be t cube divided by this one. Then, then there must be 3t square. So after this, minus 4 and then t. So t will be t square divided by 2 and then plus 1. Plus 1 will be will be the value of my time interval. So time interval starts from t upon 2. Second will be 0. So all my values will be 0 for this interval. So this, this is the elaboration of my, my putting three intervals. So after this, I have to take the LCM. So this is my bracket part. First, I have to take, take the LCM for this one. So for the first part, it will be like under root whole under root. So it will be two V M square divided by T and then it will be it will be 4 then this T will be multiplied with this one so it will be T cube T cube this 2 will be multiplied with 3 so it will be 2 multiplied by 3 equal to 6 so 6 T square then minus minus 4 t square divided by 4 t plus t upon t t upon t okay after this if this t will be cancelled out with this one and this t square will be cancelled out with this one. So this will be my 2vm square. I have to write here. One second. Yes. This will be this will be 2vm square divided by t. Then multiply with 4t divided by 6 minus 4t and plus t upon t. Okay. So this is the uh, elaboration of this part. So, so after this, I have to take the LCM. So after the LCM and taking the multiplication, so my value will be equal to B M whole divided by under root three. So this is the complete solution of uh, example nine point two. Hope you understand each and every part. Then moving now, moving towards the next part. Okay. So find the RMS value, and then yes. So how to find the RMS value of this system? So the RMS value will be again like uh, the formula is same. So the formula is is totally same as we do in the in the previous that the formula is you have to write in on the register that v root mean square value will be equals to under root. 1 upon t into the value 0 and then t. This is my time interval. This t is basically my upper limit and 0 is my lower limit. Then putting the function values, function value equals to v square with changes with respect to time with the dt. Then is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now simply then putting my, my simple values. So my function value is Vm cos 2 pi t upon t and then there's a scale. So again for this we have to do same procedure that first we have to uh, take these, this part. So this part will be equal to taking a scale plus b scale plus 2ab and then after we have to uh, take a common and after this taking the common we just uh, taking the integration our whole system whole system will be this one 
So one upon two plus one upon cos into four pi t divided by capital T, and which derive or differentiate with respect to time dt. So the 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 elaboration of this part will be equals to under root whole under root v m square v m square divided by this is whole divide okay divided by four so it will be equals to v m divided by two so this is the this is the basically how we complete this example. So just again, uh, this is the first step. This is my first step that putting the value of my or putting the formula of my v root mean square, then putting the value of uh, here the v value. So for this, my v value is v m cos two pi upon t. Then after taking the square of it. So after taking the square, we have to integrate. So integration basically in, involves the uh, the next step. So it will be one upon x or something. After this, we have to apply the limits. So after the limits, we have to just simplify and find the answer. So this is the way to 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 solve the uh, problems. Okay. Now there's a phaser phaser review. Okay. So we have to go to the direct go to the examples. Okay, where is the next? Okay, so this is my next example, example 9.4. So first is find the phasor of following signals and draw phasor for A, B, and F. Okay, so the first will be, so how to do it? So for A, as VT, that my voltage, which changes with respect to time, this part Vt equals to minus 110 cos 2 pi 60t plus 210. Okay, so this part will be uh, my A part. So this will be my B part. This is C, D, E, F respectively. For A, basically, my amplitude, we have to focus on two things. Just give me one second. For example, 9.2 for phasers. For phasers, so the main parameters are two things. First is my amplitude. I have to write here amplitude. 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 And second is my phase. So second is my phase. So in phaser we have to we have to describe our two properties. First is my amplitude, and second is my phase. So what is amplitude, and how we can find the value of amplitude from my system? As I described earlier, my general equation or general form of equation is like let's say I of t that is current of t will be like there must be the first term which is constant is my amplitude. Then there will be cos sine depends. Let's say it is sine. Okay. Then there is a two pi. Then there's an omega value, omega t and plus, and here is the phase, which is that basically theta, which, which changes with respect to the value of current at specific interval. So for phasors, there must be, we have to focus on two values. So this A value, that is my amplitude value. And second, the theta value, which is my, which is my, this is my basically phase value. So A and theta. So A will be at the first, first part. So neglecting the, the signs. So just we have to compare the value. So A will be for, for the first part, A part, this one. I have to write right right here. Mm. Yes, for first part A part. Okay. So A part the my value of A will be that is my value of amplitude will be what? It's is 110. Okay. So this value is 
one ten and then theta value will be that is my phase value is for this is two ten so as two ten is basically lies in the third quadrant so two ten i will neglect with or minus with 180 degree so it will be minusing with 180 degree so it will be what it will be 30 degree c so my face but sir, yes yes why did you do minus 80 minus 80 okay 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 so first thing is why i <clears throat> i do uh, the basically 210 and then minus it so first thing is my value of amplitude is what my value of amplitude is negative 100 so first thing is and then there is positive 210 so positive means that there is a lag uh, there is a basically increase in my system or increase in my phase system as i described earlier there is a just say there, there's a four quadrants okay four quadrants this is my first quadrant this is second third and fourth okay so my from here to here it will be 90 degree from this point to at the end it is 180 and from this point to this point that is, that will be my 210 degree is it clear then 210 or 270 sir uh 210 210 oh okay okay then 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 basically 210 will be draw like this one from this point and this one okay so my diagram will be like that that my my system will run at this this specific thing okay then 